Hello everyone. Welcome to Yashoda Hospital's online segment, The Health Talks Session. Whether you are an elite athlete or a weekend warrior, if you play sports, you must have faced an injury at some point or the other. So let's discuss about sports medicine and injuries in our today's episode. I'm Dr. Lakshmi and let's welcome Dr. Purna Chandra Tejaswi, consultant orthopedician and specialization in sports medicine from Yashoda Hospitals, Sikindrabad. Welcome, sir. So, sir, sports, which was traditionally considered as a hobby, especially in India, it's only now it's picking up as a career option. So, what made you choose this field? Um, so, that was a good question. Uh, my interest in sports started way back in 2012 when I uh, was doing my residency in orthopedic surgery at uh, Manipal. Uh, sports as such is a very uh, thing that is attracted to youth these days as you said i think many people are getting into sports i would not say just sports getting into being more active and uh, going out and mingling this also makes us more uh, active so i was a sports person when i was in uh, college i i was a state level uh, table tennis player i used to play squash for karnataka uh, so i would say these are the things that were at my heart and uh, sports injuries and the treatment and surgeries for that and uh, getting into confidence the players not even the players the uh, regular population was a very interesting topic for me and so from there on i think i concentrated on sports and uh, i was and i am very happy to be at this level where i am today well that's an interesting fact what you've just said about yourself so sir, you said that you were a sports person at a state level. So do you miss those days? I mean, did you ever think what if you were completely a professional sports player and not a doctor? Oh, I, I think I think I, I enjoy being more uh, a doctor, treating various sports injuries and various sports persons from different categories of sports uh, than being a professional sports person because uh, I love what I'm doing basically. And I'm very happy that I am uh, uh, I am very happy and I consider myself very fortunate that I, I make people moving and uh, prevent more, co more complications in their later life. Uh, you know, majority of the complications today in major life because of inactivity, because of uh, being a couch potato, whatever you call it. Uh, so my aim is to get people moving and keep them active so that uh, they, people, people can stay healthy for a longer li life. And of course, they'll remember, remember me for their lifetime. So what is your fitness mantra for this? Uh, fitness mantra is, uh, yes, most of our time is spent at the hospital. Uh, I think we spend around 12 to 14 hours in the hospital. But uh, yes, uh, uh, fitness is always an important part of, uh, of our life. Uh, because if we have to keep our patients fit, we have to be uh, both physically and mentally fit as well. Uh, so we uh, doctors as such, not myself alone, make uh, it a point that we spend some time at the gym, uh, spend some time uh, two or three times at uh, a badminton court or a game of cricket, which makes our uh, uh, which which takes care of a physical aspect as well as a mental aspect. It takes the strain out of us. So, sir, talking about sports injuries, what are the most common injuries you see day to day in your practice? Um, so, before I answer this question, mm -hmm. let me make this very clear. Uh, uh, I am in India since the past two, two and a half years uh, before which I was working in Canada. And uh, there are totally two different subsets of patients that we see here. When I was in Canada, I used to see majority of my patients were only sports patients, those into professional sports like American football, American rugby. Uh, but when I, came, when, I, when I am here in India, off late since the past five or six months after the, uh, after the lockdown, I think I am seeing more of professional sports uh, people with uh, regular injuries but majority of my patients with injuries of course these injuries can happen in even people who are not into regular sports but all those who we call as weekend warriors uh, so uh, majority of my patients are those pe people who play sports not on a regular basis but as a form of recreation or as a form of exercise and uh, a subset of them are those people who are training into sports, actually the younger population between 10 to 14 years who are into academies, uh, especially shuttle badminton academies, uh, tennis academies, skating academies. 
and uh, coming back to the question what are the ki different kinds of sports injuries we see this can be different types this can be starting from sprains sprains are something a uh, very milder form of sports injuries they can be a little bit of strains which is a next level and next progressing to tears so these are the kinds of sports injuries we see but majority of them i would say 90 to 95 percent are the milder varieties uh, belonging to sprains or strains of the ligaments or bones so sir you said that you are a sports person did you face any sports injury and how did you recover if at all uh, of course, the, I would say there is no sports person who ha would have never faced any injury. But as I said, the most important aspect is identifying them early, getting them treated by a professional uh, no, professional person and uh, get back to doing whatever you want to do. Uh, I remember one specific incident uh, when I, I think when I was in uh, 12th standard, I had a, a cricket ball uh, hit my eye um, and also I fell on my right uh, shoulder. Uh, so, but uh, the pain was so severe in my eye that I had to neglect my shoulder but after a month or so when I got back to playing cricket uh, my shoulder hurt so bad that I had to seek a professional advice in Bangalore and I was put on a course of physiotherapy and I am I am really proud to say that I strictly did that uh, rehab regimen for the for six weeks and I absolutely got back to being uh, normal. So talking about uh, the common sports injuries, is surgery needed for every injury? No, absolutely not. But I, uh, at this point, I would uh, say that uh, uh, it is really unfortunate that many patients turn up at a time when the surgery is uh, uh, a must for them. The reason being, as I said before, most of the most of us when we when we are weekend warriors or even in fact a professional sports person because of improper training uh, lack of skilled personnel at the academies what happens is there are small injuries that is going on what we call what we call as sprains or micro instabilities and when this is not taken care of at the right moment in fact if proper rehabilitation along with proper medications are given at the very starting stage most of these get treated by themselves and there is no need of surgery absolutely but when the patients turn up, as, uh, especially in our population, uh, the patient is already having a lot of problems. The joint is already dislocating, that means the ball is coming out or uh, when the patient walks, he is having a lot of instability in his knee joint. All these are serious conditions. Frankly speaking, I don't want to see patients at this level. I want uh, my patients or sports persons to come to me at a very... Uh, at a very starting stage where they have minor problems so we can take care of them very easily without surgery and get them moving faster. Sir, if it is surgery and they under ki cut chesi chayal sastada, like putting kemana newer techniques on there. No, no, absolutely not. And there, uh, there is there is a lot of difference today. I mean, this is a thing of the past. Wherever we need to cut the skin, we uh, cut the skin. But uh, the ultimate goal for me is to make the patient completely normal. Injury, I have to treat that. That said and done, most of my surgeries, I would say more than 95% of my surgeries are done through what is called as keyhole surgeries. Keyhole and TNT, we just keep small incisions. Man pen and the goda undo, man chitaka veil and the chin hole petty, that low manam camera petty jasam. Any joint, for example, in the mundu, 10 years behind, we used to do such surgeries only for two joints, knee ki, shoulder ki. But if you do, this has gone and advanced to a, to a to, to a certain level that even for smaller joints, wrist joint to go to, we have smaller uh, microscopes or smaller telescopes. The telescope is as small as 1.4 millimeter. That is less than, a, that is less thinner than a needle that we take injection for. Um, so these days all the surgeries, most of the surgeries are done through very minimally invasive techniques. Dindwara advantage is the recovery is faster. Definitely it is more cosmetic more important because we are putting the camera inside what injury manak mri lo kanapadina injury kaakunda vere emana injuries unna kuda we can identify and treat them at the same time and this also helps uh, the patient getting out of the hospital faster and uh, what we have seen over the years is uh, the patient can get back to normal uh, the patient can start going to his office and uh, by this way we can uh, help our patients in a bigger way so sir, if a person comes with an injury to you, is there any difference in approach while treating a regular patient versus a sports person? 
the approach the the approach to a sports person or a regular person with injury is the same as as far as a medical trainer or a myself is concerned because my aspect is uh, to get the right treatment for the person to get it uh, in a minimally invasive way possible and the most advanced way possible so this is the same even if the person is a sports if a professional sports going person or a regular person playing sports or some exercises uh, on a uh, irregular basis however this said and done the approach or the post operative care or the after care after the treatment is totally different for a person who is a for example who goes to office and spends 2 or 3 hours a week exercising or for a person who who goes to sports all 6 or 7 days a week because there are many aspects after an injury how we go ahead first is the medical line of treatment where we might do surgery or we might advise some other form of treatment and after this is rehabilitation and for example if, if a person is into cricket if a person is into shuttle badminton if a person is into kabaddi we have sports specific training programs where uh, each person undergoes exercises that are specific to his sport Uh, this is the basic difference uh, if a person is into professional sports or uh, recreational sports so sir are regular people more prone to injuries when compared to trained sports person uh, because the regular people they do not get any uh, regular training what did you see in your clinical experience uh oh yes definitely because the reason is uh, uh for example take my example i am i am not a regular sports person but i treat sports injuries but if i have to go and play a, a match of cricket on a weekend uh, i pay very less importance to uh, for example not me i mean people pay very less importance as a common person uh, to warm up activities to exercises before uh, before the match everyone wants to become a virat kohli or a sachin tendulkar uh, whether they are a common person or they are a professional sports person so you, you directly jump into the uh, uh, game with a lot of adrenaline and you do a lot of activities that are not you that are not uh, used to doing regularly so what this do this puts a lot of stress on the joints especially the shoulder and the knee joint and and this is very interesting what happens is uh, most of the times this might not lead to a, a serious condition where the patient has to consult a specialist a doctor or a physiotherapist but Uh, uh there is some injury that lingers on and when the patient adds insult to it every time he is doing this this might become a bigger problem where uh, he uh, has to seek consult opinion or undergo a uh, surgery for this so what i would say is it is very important even if you are playing uh, games on a not a regular basis or if you are indulging in sports activities in a uh, very uh, rarely time manner uh, it is very important for us to follow the set protocol so that at least few warm up exercises where we exercise our muscles and get our body fit for the upcoming game or a sports session so as you said like most of the patients present to your clinic at a later stage like initially most of them would be ignoring the injury or treating by themselves at home so what challenges do you generally face while treating such patients so the challenges there are many uh chala challenges when i patient ma degar first ochinappudu unfortunately em aitadu ante there is uh, the in serious of injury is too big so first as a physician what i do is i try to see what is the problem i try to diagnose it then dani kavalsina investigations mri kaani ultrasound kaani x ray kaani cheyistam then if i think this injury is too big that it will affect the functioning of a particular joint in that person in the long term because majority of my patients are young population that is 25 to 35 so if if i do not uh, take this seriously myself and if i do not explain the condition or the seriousness of injury to the patient it and i give medicines it might solve the problem in the shorter term but uh, uh, i think that this is going to affect the patient in a longer term so i do not mince my words in telling that this requires treatment this requires this form of exercises this requires this long duration of medicines or this requires a surgery so the challenge is in getting my patient into confidence that for them to follow this kind of treatment because uh, this is unfortunate but i would like to add that even among the physicians uh, the aspect of joint preservation or joint longevity or uh, making the person active uh, is lacking in our uh, indian scenario so i think uh, these days i think majority of the physicians as a sports injuries uh, persons we are uh, getting more and more aware and making our patients also aware 
So sir, is there any one success story which is very close to your heart in your clinical experience? Not one, there are many. Um, we did a uh, uh, few months back, uh, in fact around eight to nine months back, we did operate a uh, uh, boxer from uh, uh, Maharashtra. I think he's back to playing his professional sports now. Um, there are a uh, couple of people who have operated for, uh, uh, who are sprinters, Who one, one of them who is a 400 meter sprinter. I think she is from Bangalore and she's already undergoing a rehab. Uh, she, uh, she is a very good candidate to represent India at the international level for a 400 meter sprints we have to see in the long term how she will do uh, with respect to her uh, athletics uh, so as i said uh, the one more thing is i have been in india since the past two and a half years uh, there are many short success stories and hopefully in the longer term uh, we uh, we want to replicate our success story in the western world uh, in our uh, uh, country so i think that gives us immense pleasure when you know that you're treating a patient and they're back to their careers and playing very well on the ground level. Uh, I would like to add to that uh, uh, because uh, uh, for me more happiness is making a normal person getting back to sports. Uh, a, phys a professional athlete will obviously get back to sports because they have the necessary training at their disposal, they have the necessary uh, backing at their disposal, be it in financial terms, be it in uh, social or be it the so, uh, the associations or the national associations backing but for me the more happiness is getting back a normal person to do exercise uh, in I would like to add a small point most of my patients who are who go to office from 9 to 5 in the morning and who get to play a jog who, who get to jog or get to play a small game of shuttle badminton come to me with small niggles in their shoulder when I tell them this niggle is a big thing and you have to undergo surgery the first thing they ask me is sir I will stop doing everything for my entire life I'll just go to office that is what that is not what I want my people to do I want them to be active uh, that is our goal that is the basic difference between a sports injury strained orthopedic surgeon and a general orthopedic surgeon this word today this is about super speciality and this is what i would like to emphasize no one needs to stop doing what they are doing because of a sports injury we are there to take care of you and uh, uh, we are confident that you can uh, people can get back to full uh, level of activity so sir your message is that no matter at what age you are whether you are a youngster or a middle-aged person or an old age person and if you are a weekend uh, warrior or a sports person at your professional, we've got newer techniques to treat any kind of injuries, is it? Yes, absolutely. Uh, my single point is whatever age you are, you are youngster, middle age or older person, don't worry. Uh, every injury can be treated. Every injury need not uh, go with surgery. Smaller injuries, if you come to us with smaller level of injuries, we can treat you with medicines and we can treat you with certain exercises and you can uh, get back to being normal. That is, you can get back to being active. You can get back to be doing whatever you want to. Uh, you can get back to uh, enjoying sessions with your kids. You can get back to uh, enjoying sessions with your spouse and kids on a vacation. Uh, so there's no need to uh, hold back and uh, think that this is the end of the uh, my being active. So thank you, doctor, for sharing your experience in this episode. So this brings us to the end of the session. Hope all your queries on the topic sports medicine and injuries were answered. Thank you for joining us and we look forward for your active participation and on to next week as well. Thank you and stay safe.